Draw it, or the interview is over. I can tell my secrets to someone who doesn't believe me. This won't harm me, will it? No? Draw very carefully, it has to be precise. Well? Very good, you have talent. Now what? Now? Submit. On a normal oh, what? So, tell me another joke. I want to hear this joke. I want to hear it as bad as the last one. I have a good one. What type of tape do do kidnappers use? Why did you look? Oh, I don't like this. What type of kidnap? This is not normal. I wonder now. Wait, wait. Yeah, well, let's see what you brought me. What? Just a meow park trash can? You gotta be kidding me. I think I have something else in mind. Mr. Rusker, I, I live my babe, my babe, my boyfriend, my sweetie is repairing my desk again. So it's not back yet. Or cleaning it at least because he says I should clean more because I'm really bad at it and I really don't do it. And like, at least I know you're packed into such stuff and you can't bend over anymore, but. But that's, that's, that's such a stuff. Right? Before I do my intro and thing, welcome to a new Three Scary Games. Such stuff, but uh, like bending, like that's the worst thing about you know the worst thing about pregnancy. There's actually a story that I want to tell later on in the video, which I completely forgot. But lately, I have like I am a bit like annoyed, or how do you call that? Like on your own, or if people say, "Should I help you?" and you be like, "No, I can do it myself," you know. Uh, but I've been like, I've been realizing slowly and slowly, and I hate it, that I can't do a lot of stuff anymore on my own, and that I need help from, in this case, my babe or someone else. Because, uh, as you can see with this belly, I'm not gonna bend over anymore, for example, anymore, uh, as well. Or I can't bend over in front of me as well as I did before, or see the ground anymore, or do on my shoes and that sort of stuff. I'm like a bit picky on it and like be like, I can do it myself, you know, I'm a grown up woman. I was pregnant, I can do it myself, but uh, I need, I guess I need help from you know, for my babe. And that's actually the story that I wanted to tell you on today, uh, later on in three, in three Sky Games number three, in the third game of the day. So, uh, the first game actually, which we're gonna play and have some things that. Well, uh, before first game starts, I actually have a three minute rant about Garden of Ben Ben, you see why, so. You know, if like the first game comes around and you want to see uh, To Sweat a Fly, skip like three minutes, you will be there. And this technical can show you how to interview a serial killer. Yeah. The visual novel is told about interviewing a serial killer. And what takes it up to that? Uh, to Sweat a Fly is game number one. Game number two uh, is actually a funny game. In three scary games, around 56. In game number two, you see which three scary games I played the game before. but do you remember, remember a man in the park? If you don't, go watch 3 scary games. I think it was 56. Otherwise, watch game 2 and you'll see which game it was. And But that guy released a sequel. Um, the man in the park too. And it's called the second man in the park. <laughs> yeah, there's a second man in the park. I'm not kidding. There's just now a second man in the park and that's the second game. You want to know how? Well, watch game number two. I find out what happens in this weird twisted park dimension, I guess. I don't know, I didn't write the script. And uh, if you're bored about games, well, uh, I have some side job to do. I have to... Uh, I don't know, you know, you know AI robots nowadays? You train a robot to be nice to kids. Yeah, I have to train a robot to be, like, friendly towards kids at any age. So we're gonna train a prototype. And in the prototype... Yeah, we're just basically pointing around and saying this is what you're supposed to do, this is not normal and such. See it as FNAF 6 and the Mandela catalog a bit combined. You know the FNAF 6 where you have to like uh, where you pull someone out from like the from out of the alley, you know, like from a scrap baby or scrap 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 after and scrap spring trap, scrap lefty, that sort of stuff. Yeah, that section. Combined with the Mandela catalog. Sort of stuff. And that's game number three. And as I said in game number three, I wanted to talk about the fact that I feel like I've become a bit more powerless. Because I can do as much as I can do previous because I'm pregnant and if I bent for over, you see the belly is in the way. 
uh, I have to accept it, but I forgot uh, I started talking about my boobs because I couldn't control my hormones, so you know that, and that's why. But, well, uh, that's the scary game for this week. I'll see you all in a sec, but don't forget to subscribe, ring the notification bell, like if you want to see more. I do this every type of week. Uh, if you want to see more horror content, make sure to check out my channel. I have a public Discord if you want to stay up to date it. But also, uh, from today onwards, a private Discord is going to be launched, and you gain access by either subscribing on Twitch or subscribing to my Patreon. And this is basically a reward for people who want to support me a bit more, and I want to see if this plays out. If this doesn't play out and nobody gets to these, then yeah, I will, uh, I'm going to merge it into my own public Discord. We'll see. Until then, I'm going to say have fun watching and I'll see you all in next week's episode. Until then, stay safe. Don't get eaten by anything else. And don't get scared by any serial killers. And especially, don't trust the AI. Until then, I'll see you all in a sec. The timer hit. Okay, okay. First thing first. Welcome to a new 3 scary games. Game number one is going to be uh, The Slot of Fly. This is basically um, more an visual novel game supposed to be an interview with a serial killer for four years the red valley country in arizona was hunted by a shadow serial killer shadowy serial killer with the mysterious method of murder even three years after the arrest the red valley reaper uh, mel axton has refused to speak a word of the press until today you've managed to get yourself an exclusive interview with a high profile prisoner the question is can you ask the right questions and make it out the truth and I'm first I'm going to start. First I'm going to start. You have to see something real quick. I'm not going to joke. Uh, remember, I don't know. I think it was in 3 Scary Games 100. But. Uh, in 3 Scary Games 100. I said. That Garden of Ben Ben. Is waiting until the Ruin DLC dropped. And. That they wait until. The, like a week after that. Before Garden of Ben Ben 4 is released. I have to give them props. With like the design of the chapter. It's a bit. It's better. They're going in the right direction, but there's one negative that I still have. I'm alright. This draw when this is uh, this release is this a week uh week further. So this is released a week earlier than this released. And this released either today or yesterday. But there's one main complaint that I have with this, which tells me Garden of Ben Ben can be a great game and can be all the love that it wants, but you can deny that this is a money gap because normally if you work on a game you do chapter based, you make chapter one. You announce chapter 2, you make chapter 2, you announce chapter two, 3, you make chapter 3, you announce chapter 4. And you know what they did? If I scroll down, uh, yeah, Garden of Batman 6 is already announced. As you can see, but that's not all. You'd be like, Elise, okay, they go from 4 to 6. They can't count, that's true. No, that's not all. Here. This is why I have worries that this is going into the ground. Five is also announced. This means that there's officially more chapters than Benny in the Ink Machine. Probably more chapters than Benny in the Dark Revival. But... Okay, look, look, look. I know I hate on Garden of Benban a lot. And I hate that this... And I say that's unoptimized and destructive. You can look past it and be like, Alicia, just have a bad PC. Okay, you know? I agree with that, you know, I'm stream from love. But you can't tell me that they do money gapping. As you see, how 1, 2, 3, and 4 is looking. 4 looks better than 3, 2, and 1. They're definitely the right type. But I don't have confidence that you make chapter 5 and 6 at the same time. But that's Ben, Garden of Ben Ben uh, aside, because I want to show that because I told you so and I was right. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, I had to rip it in. I had to rip it in. It was like a week after room release or something. Uh, but uh, let's play an uh, interview with uh, our serial killer. Also, NV and Jen, a miracle visual novel with strict. Oh. Because I wanted to tell beforehand, because uh, I can tell a story during this. Could you state the name for the record? Now Actinson, I come in the Red Valley Ripper. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me, Miss Actinson. That's strike one. Huh? Don't call me that. Mel will do. Uh, I'd like to keep this professional. 
Call me Mel or your interview ends here. Oké, okay, vraag je wel. En Mel. Oh, I have one other story, but I'll come later down the line because this is a story based game. Why did you accept this interview? Because you turned all the requests until now. Even when arrested, the only words you spoke until sentencing were I'm guilty. The world has long wondered about your motives and the matters used to kill. Your victims have been a mystery. Why have you decided to break your three year silence today? Let me make this clear. I'm here because I want to be. The police claim they tracked me down on their own, but are lying. The only reason they found me was because I wanted to be found. I sat down at the crime scene covered in blood and waited for hours for them to show up. I have to say, I have to say, normally uh, when a killer, uh, this normally this happens a lot, he can look, fact check me, but uh, from evidence clearly I guess is that how more a killer kills, how messier he becomes, he or she becomes. You know why? Because at the point confidence ties him because if you kill once and you get away with it, you'll be like, oh, I can do it again and again and again. But then you'll be like, oh, I made I made such a cleanup last time. I don't have to do it now because apparently this one still need it. And sometimes you kill in a hurry then, and then is when you caught me. But if she tells the truth, we'll see. I'm very patient, I have to wait ages, but it's almost time. Time for what? Something big? So I figured I'd best correct the narrative before I go. Go. Oh, this is actually a good one. Oh, I forgot to not ask. <laughs> I have nine save slots of like six. Jesus. Are you planning to escape? I'm not going to do anything. I won't tell you anymore. That's something else. Wait, I wonder. Uh. I won't tell you anymore. Oh, I can't go back. Are you planning to die? Oh no, I can't die. I'll just be moving on somewhere to somewhere else. This prison has been lovely, but this served this purpose. I won't tell you anymore. Huh. That's... That's something else. Well, how many people have you killed? How many did the report say? Seven confirmed, eight more suspected. Is this accurate? Uh, it might be more I lost count. Won't be willing to confirm some victims. Their families are still waiting for answers. No. Even if I wanted to, I don't know any names. I don't remember any faces. I, uh, if they before my mark, they're mine. I don't, I don't assume you should be pushy here, but... Why did you do it? I did use the victims. I did that carve and mark it to their flesh. Why did I eat yogurt and it was expired? You don't have to be more specific. Tell me about... Markings. Symbol your arm is the same, correct? Yeah, I had the message perfectly. What does it mean? I didn't know of my background. Uh, you were born in 90... Ugh. Skip ahead. The 20 years of killings. When the first body was found, you were in your second year of graduate school. Before dripping, dropping out the following semester. What was I studying? I say biochemistry. Or so so sociology. Sociology, is that a thing? Okay. Wrong. Wait, she did anatomy? What is that actually? I never heard of that. Oh. Oh, so of the human development. Uh, okay. Nerd. Nerd. Folklore, right? Very good. I was fascinated with mythology with gods and the deities. Makes sense, makes sense. You, you, like, look, 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 you see that bump down there? Yeah. I'm, I'm not smart. I'm pregnant. Because if I was smart, I wouldn't get pregnant. Oh, uh, at least my I saw if I did, but. So uh, you can say, oh, you want to believe, like, how do you should know? Well, he's the nerd, not I. Lots of you had power, but the gods of today are weak. So I made my own god. I created that symbol, its power, I fed and gold cultivated. But it was hungrier than I thought. So I had to give it more. And in return, it feeds me. It makes me more. A prophet. Ugh. How do you create a god? Not the hard, just tedious. All you do, all you have to do, all you have to do is believe. Most importantly, a god needs sustenance. Sustenance, so I can talk. 
Whatever that may be. If you don't feed it, it dies. When surrounded by the uh, carcass of that ghost, so people like you can see it. They poison the earth that forsook them. There are too many ghosts created and abandoned without care. The modern Ventian is nothing but a tower of rot. I can give a de demonstration if you like. Oh, exactly. Draw my symbol on your arm. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Draw it, or the interview is over. I can tell my secrets to someone who doesn't believe me. This won't harm me, will it? No. Draw very carefully, it has to be precise. Well. Very good, you have talent. Now what? Now? Submit. Oh, what's happening? Huh? What's happening? What did you do? This is my god. Let it in and won't hurt you unless I tell it to. Ugh. Good, good. You're in there, right? Yes. Finally! I was growing so bored of playing Q&A. Now it's time for you to help me. Okay, my god. Yes, my prophet. Oh wait, I became the god. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. I want to see what happens if... Uh, oh. I cloud. What if I resist? No way! So you know resisting will kill you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Pff, pity you were promising. I reported desperate to get the inside scoop on the mysterious Red Valley Reaper. I know you don't... I know you do anything to please me even if I was stupid. Too bad you weren't dumb enough to believe in a god without proof. Oh, here's your evidence. Congratulations! So, 3 was Prophet God, 2 was Fly. How many endings are there? This is interesting. Like, psychology has always been a favorite topic for me. Now I don't How many did the I want to see here. What if I if I uh, get three strikes? Because then the thing will be over. A strike two. If you don't want to answer, I won't. Don't repeat questions. Why did I do what? Why did? Yogurt. Seriously, okay. Was a broke card student with nothing else in my fridge. Talk about three things. Don't lose my time. That's a strike. The interview's over. Now, oh, get enough chances. You're not what I was hoping for. Bye bye. Strike out. I got three endings. I don't know how many endings are there. How many are there? Oh, three endings. So, strike out, you either die because you resist the god, or. Oh, you become the god. I have to say, it's an interesting game. You know, I. I I always love this type of stuff because it's not your typical horror game. You have to, like the thing is, I know I rented about Cardinal Ben Ben, and uh, as I said, I give credit to Cardinal Ben Ben, and that took three minutes away. So imagine that I did this in ten minutes. <laughs> but uh, you have like the thing is, it's not always your jump scare, but you have just imagine yourself going to. Like a prison as an interviewer, trying to interview the guy or girl who killed 20 or 30 more people, you know, it sits there just toying with you, saying the wrong thing and you're, you're dead, saying the right thing and you end up as a god, god and help her. It's like, that of course doesn't happen in real life, but uh, just imagine just like trying to get into the brain. Like I love, like like I cannot be saying this that I study IT and I thought I lived this up so plenty times, but I love psychology. So I find this really interesting and yeah, it's not maybe it's not that scary, but just imagine getting possessed. That's really scary. But I got all three endings, but I think there are plenty more secrets. So if you want to find them for yourself, link is in the description down below. Uh, I want to say two more things, which I probably also said in the intro. If you want to see me play through the chapters of Garden of Ben Ben on this channel, 
Leave a comment down below saying Garden of Ben Ben and I will look into it. Subscribe to the notification bell if you want to support me more than that. I do have a public Discord, but also a private Discord Twitch you can exit by either subscribing to my Patreon or uh, subscribing on Twitch. In case you want to support me more and I want to see if a closed off Discord works for people so that you know. Uh, but I'll see you all in a sec and I'll head up to game number two. I want to start off game two with actually a reminder. Uh, a reminder the time before my oops had to grow, before I was pregnant in 3 scary games 56. That is like 50 episodes ago at this point. Time flies. <laughs> uh, we played a game called Men in the Park. And the funny thing is, the guy released a sequel. So, uh, welcome to game number two, which is funny enough called... Oh, this is loud. Yeah, it's the second man in the park. <laughs> Let's play. Hello. Uh, why is this? Are we gonna help the second man? Got you there, didn't I? Oh man, you should have seen your face. What face? I'm sorry, I was just a little scared for old times' sakes. Uh, Timmy and I were sorry about last time. We didn't mean to eat you, it's just, it's this park. Something similar lies we needed. You see, you must help destroy it and restore the park to the back to its peaceful state. My brother sitting in all the benches of, is responsible for this. He has lost a page from his master plan here in the park. He also kidnapped Timmy. Find this page and bring it to me. We'll then be able to use it to rescue Timmy and return to the park in its peaceful state. But if you do, do not give the page to my brother. No matter what he says, all of our lives depends on it. Uh, you are the brother. Greetings, young man. I'm Harold. No, not fear me. I'm not here to hurt you, unlike my brother Henry and his demon of a grandson, Timmy. They have wreaked havoc on what used to be a peaceful park long enough, and it must be stopped. I wrote a plan to stop them, but they stole one of the pages and hid it here in the park. You must help me find it so we can defeat him. You must also not believe anything Henry says, and whatever that you do, do not give the page to him. Would you really trust someone that ate you? Ooh. Wait, what happens if I just leave out the park? No, I shouldn't leave without finding the page. Oh, the good old oh, the good old scenario or the trolley problem. Like, is the left one lying or the right one lying? I assume it's in the trash can. What was the chocolate thing? Is Timmy still here? Timmy I still believe that Timmy's here. Yeah, right, not doing that again. Timmy! Timmy! Hello, oh, Timmy! Can I crouch? No, I see, like, something buried there. It is... What do you mean? It's a shovel! I betcha, I betcha it's buried here. I betcha it's buried below here. No, I assume it's like where that thing is. So now we can assume. Oh, I fuck, find the patient. Yeah, right, not doing that again. Uh, let's hide the page in the park somewhere. The chocolate. Something in there. I don't get it. Why do I find the page? So you say me the page is somewhere I can see. Am I blind? Like this is chocolate. Huh? Confused? Huh? I'll try you if it's on the dead and I broke my game. What if I talk to you again?
That's a piece of. Oh, 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 what the, what the, what the fuck is that? Yeah, hello there, I'm Mr. Whiskers. What can I do for you? Oh, you want this blue page? Well, if you bring me something delicious, perhaps I may let you have it. Well, better be good than hairy, or else you will certainly face an unfortunate demise. Something good and something hairy. Is this the thing for the... I didn't, I didn't see the cat before, friend. What if I give it? Yeah, oh, let's see what you brought me. Perfect, here's a blue page. Okay, who do we give it? Let's give it to the left one. Find the blue page, you must take it to the Indential Park trash can. Trash can, here I'm save Timmy. Timmy will be able to read the page, my arms are good design, tell you what to do. Left, right, left. Right? Park trash can here, I'm gonna save Timmy. We're gonna read the page, my arms aren't so good, he's gonna tell you what to do. Left, right, left. What's that, this one? Left. Right. Hey man, how have you been? Look, I'm really sorry about before. I'm the man in the park one. Why don't I eat you? You see, Grandpa and I come from another dimension where humans are a natural source of food. Let me try to explain. This is an interdimensional park slide trash candy realm. Say that ten times quick. It connects all of the interdimensional slides. Harold sabotaged the realm. That's how Grandpa and, and, and I ended up in your park. And now she's trapped me here. All he carries out this evil plan. The owner pissed to repair the realm using the secret code on a special blue page. Okay, you got it. You brought the page. It will save us. Let me see. Interesting place you have. The number of blue slides you see in the room into the computer. Well, that's easy enough. I was expecting a mid slide puzzle for some reason. Anyways, don't screw it up. I see one, two, three. I see three. You did it! You restored order to the trash can here, almost save the park! What am I playing? What am I playing? <laughs> Playing. <laughs> Wait, there's something on the bench. The arena in Mr. Park has been saved. Harold has been defeated, and Timmy and I are back home with Mi Mr. Whiskers. We adopted him and are teaching him the puns that are bad and say a lot about the person who used them. Because of your princess, uh, persistence, you have restored order and made it possible for us to live peaceful lives once again. Please take this partially eating candy bar as a token of our graduate. As the hairy, moldy, and girting feel the chocolate melts in your tongue under the warm golden ray of sunlight in the park, you think to yourself, Park trash candy never tastes so good. There are six endings? The park is safe once again, and you smell as you leave to go home. You stop by the drugstore for your favorite menthol cigarettes. The cashier asks, How about you have some eye drops, my friend? Your eyes looking a little red. Is that the name for a man in the park free? I just wonder what happens if I just leave the park. Uh oh. You thought this was a safe choice like last time, but you thought wrong, your body is never to be found. <laughs> okay, what if I just go. No, wait, I can't go down the slide. Is Miss Whiskers here? What if I give it to the other one?
I have to get stuck to him, him, and then I do one more ending. The rest can you, you can find out yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah, little scare for old times' sake. Your your jokes never get old, eh? as they say. What can I now talk to the cat, or I have to talk to the red man too? Like, I think he also can die to the cat. Like, can I, can I take the candy bar and give it to the cat? <laughs> oh, I wonder now. Wait, wait. Yeah, I wanna see what you brought me. What? Just a meow park trash can? You gotta be kidding me. I think I have something else in mind. It's a risk I sink his fang into the nap of your neck and carries you away. Your body is never to be found. What a, what a beautiful ending. Okay, one more time. One more time. I don't know. I, 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 I don't get scared. Reason in this game. I give I give the page to the red man. And then... Uh, and then... You can find the other two on yourself because I know. Well, because else I think you all know where to go. Because so one or two more endings that I think you can do, and that is entering the wrong code. You know, entering the wrong code into the computer, and taking the wrong slide directions. Hey, Danger Man, I'm Harold. Uh, I'm, I'm still surprised I was right the first time around. Isn't it? You don't need to answer, I was talking about you. But this page I can destroy this last dimension, my plan is complete. Ha 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 ha. Because I think there are two more endings. And I think you know where to get them. Like going wrong in the slide and entering the wrong code near Timmy. Harold vaporized your dimension. I don't even know you. I don't even know how you're reading this because you don't exist. Like apparently, this pregnant girl doesn't exist anymore. Do I exist, Elliot? You mean no? I'm a Sakai girl. Ah. Oh. Uh, apparently, I don't exist anymore. So I think guess this is three scary games. <laughs> I love the expansionists and like the little jokes to the uh, old men in the park. If you haven't watched 3 Sky Games 56, do it. You know, you see how I changed as, you know, being the VTuber that I am today. Pregnant and all, big poops and all, sorts of stuff. But, uh, yeah, that is game number two, A Man in the Park 2. As I said, there are two more endings left for you to discover. And I think I know where to find them if you have paid attention to what I'm listening. So, if you want to play it for yourself, link is in the description down below. At the top, at the bottom will all be my socials. And I'll see you all in game number three. Welcome to uh, a game called The Prototype. It's a videotape, so I said, let's watch it. Permanently model assessment. Ah. You will conduct a series of standard prompts to assess the latest prototype developed by Pentagon Technology. Oh yeah, I was going to tell about the third story. I completely forgot. A uh, second story about Elliot and my pregnancy. Oh yeah, yeah, that actually has to include the Patreon because I have to... For you is the plaything prototype. He is a state-of-the-art talking companion intended for all ages. His features include lifelike movement, a lovely singing voice, and human-like response. The plaything is capable of functioning as your family, your... Oh, I skipped it. He is unlike... Oh, I'm not ready. Companion. Huh? At Pandemonium... I didn't know space skipped, sorry. The ...quality of our electronic puppets. Ensuring that customer experience is nothing short of positive. Is this like a Mandela catalog thing? Arm area. Playing simulation in one.
If the prototype is upon the collection, he is armed, is armed to your right should remain raised. It is raised. Oh, this is like five, six tiles. Oh. Is this a, is this normal? Oh, this is like five, six tiles. No! Ah! I remember pizza simulation. That was like, uh, you had like animatronics in front of you and they play like a little prompt and then they either move or not and you have to, they have to react. Teams remain really still. Head area. Oh, it's like... Uh, but I think it was like, uh, I feel so back, back pain is a thing, but I also got no shy again. I shy again. Got sick the last few days. My right. That's correct. And I've been sick, but I was been able to stream. But uh, being pregnant, I don't recommend it. As I said multiple times. So Elif is also asking me, like, how babe, how do you do that with dressing up and such stuff? You seem like really good at it all of a sudden. Well, he responded correctly. My area. The thing is, like, Elif says, like, babe, how do you do that? Like. You have to use, you have to get used to your boobs, now your pump. And how do you dress up so easily and walk around? I feel like I don't walk around that easily. I have a fucking baby bump, and now all of a sudden I have to wiggle all around. And I feel like my back hurts, and I start to start complaining, and my back hurts the most because of my baby bump. So well. You'll be looking to your right. So uh, I've been like, like, like the past few weeks have been like a little worse. But I guess that's what happens by pregnancy. It's not only like increased hair growth, belly, increased boobs. Funny thing is, like, I think my boobs didn't grow that much. Only a tiny bit because, uh, back when we were on vacation, when I got my bump, like, I saw some bras with me because I already had my boobs, of course. Don't look into my left. Like. But the bras that I had brought with me when I got my baby bump still fitted but were tight. Tighter. So uh, I think either my boobs grew a tiny bit or my bras were just worn out. But I was so proud of my boobs, eh? Uh. You should be looking. Nice yeah, looking. Section 2. Singing voice. Prototype singing voice will activate through a pre-recorded prompt. If the prototype does not respond correctly, please ensure speakers are placed properly. Properly. Like the thing, like the thing which I'm still most proud of is not my baby, but my boot. For the good. Well, hey there, sure. <clears throat> Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, this is all for the love of you. I don't know any of this, I don't, don't know this song. Stylish marriage, I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet. Upon the seat. <laughs> oh, that was not normal. I had to give them proud that he's recorded a sample singing. Please sing happy birthday. Okay, I know that one. Well, hey there, sure. <clears throat> ha 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 ha. Now for the 
moment you've all been waiting for. <sighs> Introducing... Well, hey there, kids. It's me, Gozo, your favorite clown. Who wants to see a magic trick? I see some hands. One, two, three, four. Why, so many friends came to celebrate today. I have a little present for you, birthday girl. But before that, everybody please sing happy birthday. Let's have my girl. Uh oh. Why are you looking to the head? This is not normal. <laughs> but like, like of course, I have back pain and I got nausea again this week. But being pregnant is so fun, eh? What did I respond to a series of standard questions using pre-record responses? How do you always begin in three? Like, and ever since my transformation, like the thing I saw part of and even Elliot knows it, is my boobs because they are so huge. Hello? Well, hey there. Hey there. I assume this is normal. Like, and the like, my boobs are, I'm so proud of them, man. They're so big. And even, uh, Alif knows that. I'm that doing them. just well. Thank you. Kind of normal. What are you? Uh, so I'm, like, proud of my boobs. I'm an electronic puppet, but I'm a smart one. <laughs> I need to look to the head again. What's over there? Ape? Is that you? Why is my model doing? Is that you, babe? Over there. I don't see anything. Do you see anything? Anything to your right? Nothing to me, my right. But like my boobs, I'm so proud of them. And even if Elif knows that, like, he's gentle with them, even if he, you know, touches them when we're playing around with each other. But it's not normal. What can you do? So, it's like, oh, the nausea. created to sing, make jokes, and so much more. I am a talking companion intended for all ages. I can be your family, your friend, your... Or... Nah, uh, just normal. Just normal. So, like, the thing is, like, if you play around with each other, like, he knows you have to... Go to the doctor's office. Well... Can I do my story? Because it was feeling crummy. Ha, ha, ha. Worst joke ever. So if you play around, like, he's gentle with the mini you nose know, that I love my boobs. <laughs> yeah, he can help out, help, but like, I'm a transgender girl who got pregnant by accident. But to have, like, also a, such huge poop grown boobs. I know I've been talking a lot about my boobs and my belly and my nausea and my things, but. Can't deny it. I, I got lucky, as, I, as they say. Kind of normal. So, tell me another joke. I want to hear this joke. I want to hear it as bad as the last one. I have a good one. What type of tape do do kidnappers use? Why did you look? Oh, I don't like this. What type of kidnapper? This is not normal. I need to come home, Dad. Where did he go? This is not normal. Dude. Is that bir a birthday party across the street? Is it? This is the saddest fucking party I've ever seen. Yes, look. Got a clown and everything. You think the guy has a family? <laughs> Maybe he's got a dying clown guy for something. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> I've been talking about my poop, so this language should be appropriate. He's really going extra with the balloon animals, huh? The balloon dog, dude. Wait, how did you get that? This is not normal. Hey, so uh, earlier I picked up Cole from his school like you asked. The kid was getting hungry, so we went to Hardy's for dinner. 
you don't have to bring home cake from that birthday gig. I got you covered. Just... It's 9 p.m. 10 p.m., not lie. Do not lie. Where are you? I'm at home. Ah. I only have that robot again. I lost it. I put it away. I don't know. Oh. Cold he doesn't know me yet. Pager at your nightstand. He brings it with him to school. Refuses to give it to the police, saying it's the only thing of yours that he has left. Did the prototype get him? Kidnap him? I've been hearing about missing cases happening recently. So yeah, I wanted to talk about basically my Patreon, which pregnancy. And the fact that I experience a lot of back pain currently around my chest area and back area. And that I got nausea the last few days, so I feel sick. But I still make content here because I still feel happy and I should support to you. Where the fuck are you? I don't know. I sincerely hope you only fucked off to elope with that birthday kid's mom. She I'm Elise, you're talking about. So yeah, and like the story got happened to talk about a lot about my boobs because I'm still proud of them. Imagine what you can do with these two things. Nick. Nick Miller. That's... that's me. Welcome, Nick. Go ahead, and tell me about yourself. <clears throat> I... grew up in a small town all my life. Oh yeah, I'm imagine what you can do with these two things. Of you can do it, Sam. Wink, wink, wink. It's sorry, sorry, pregnancy moods. Challenge trying to provide for us both. I've been doing odd jobs, and... I'm, uh, looking for my next professional Our challenge. Jobs? I haven't talked a lot about poops and thinking about talking to people yeah. them. Uh, I'm so on my youth moody period lately. My current job is entertaining children at birthday parties. Could you demonstrate? Uh, is someone talking to the robot? Prototype? Well, hey there, kids. It's me. Who wants to see a magic trick? I don't. Wonderful! So yeah, I've been like... Thanks. Being pregnant, like the most irritating thing has been my carvings and wood swings also lately. I think keeps so moody. You're hired. We could use someone with remarkable talent like you here at Pandemonium Technologies. Uh, that's... That's great. I, I've been so mo moods, my moodiness, you know, my moodiness when to divorce the sex and such stuff is so worse lately, yeah. I guess it's pregnancy hormones, but. Let me go! I okay. won't tell anyone what you do here! I won't tell! I swear! Please the head. We don't want to damage it. It hurts! Oh, it hurts! What the fuck are you doing to me? Wait, did that guy turn into. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's not normal. Ah. His transformation is finally complete. Now, to test him out. Hello. Well, hey there. How are you? I'm doing just well. Thank you. What Wait. are you? I'm an entertainment companion. Excellent. Wait. We programmed a robot, and then the guys behind the robot company captured a guy. For who you are. And put him into the robot. To the robot? I'm in a... I'm in a... Uh, that is an interesting game I have to say. I love it. And because it's basically the Mandela catalog again. Is this copyrighted? I know if it's copyrighted. Well, uh, basically it's the Mandela catalog all over again. 
bitch. And like you, like it's FNAF 6 style pizza, pizza, uh, pizza, no, pizza, pizza, simulator combined with the Mandela catalog. I love it actually. It was funny to play, and of course I talked a lot about my boost because I do apologize for practicing hormones, but uh, yeah. Wait, can I click to it? No. So if you want to play this game for yourself and experience a prototype, links in the description down below. Uh, I think you can follow around with the game because the game was a uh, Python game. So let me do check. Yeah, you can follow around with the images. So, like, I think if you know a bit of Python, you can probably fool around with it. So, I don't say fool around in the game and make it your own, no. But, for example, you can chase the torch of the guys, for example, if you like that. So, make it your fun horror game. Your own foreign version of it. But, uh, as I said, this was the prototype, and this was also three scary games for this week. Uh, I hope what you like what you saw. And if you want, you can leave a. And if you like what you saw, you probably made it all the way through. Uh, I'm Hudson Elise, or Hudson known as Hudson Duty, a pregnant YouTuber trans girl. I do these types of horror videos every week around 8 pm CET or CESC on my channel. So if you like what you saw, subscribe and hit the notification bell. But besides that, I do also uh, plenty of other horror stuff. If you want to know what, make sure to check the icon in the top right, the outro playlist on the left, or my channel button on the middle on the outro. And uh, don't forget, if you like horror, to check my security breach playthrough, which is happily occurring simultaneously each week. And there should be an earlier part out this day, so if you wanna, if you can't wait for not more horror or three scary games, make sure to check that out. And with that, I'm gonna say, if you wanna support me more, if you wanna support me more, uh, besides the guy from the Remy notification bell, I do have a public Discord down below. Uh, if you want a private community, you have to subscribe either through Patreon at the first tier or through my Twitch. Uh, Twitch channel subs and gain access to it. Uh, it's just a test. If people don't like it, I will integrate it to my public Discord, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So there is the option to support me more if you wish. You won't. If you wish to like it. Of course, I appreciate every subscriber. I appreciate every like. I appreciate every comment. So... Just open there. But with that, I'm going to say have a wonderful day, wonderful night, and I'll see you all in next week's episode. Bye. Bye. Hope you're pregnant. Bye. <laughs>